Most people in America are familiar with radio shows, and on radio shows we don't typically see the people unless they've also made it into a cable show where you actually are seeing the videotaping of the radio show that's going out live across the nation and also across whatever the local stations are. In truth, people do that so that people understand somewhat about the industry and they also get a sense of who these people are and what they look like. The hard part for people is that sometimes they get disappointed in seeing what people look like because their vision in their mind of what somebody looks like isn't as fine as they thought. You know, they have a voice and you think that voice relates to a certain type of visual person and that may not be true. My point isn't really that, it's that radio allows us to be stealth. And stealth is a word that not everyone is familiar with, but we know about stealth bombers, and we know about, I think there was a film called Stealth Something, and openly that stealth helicopter can allegedly be somewhat invisible flying through the sky because it's got some sort of marvelous technology that was probably from aliens that, that allows the, the ship to disappear like we see in Star Wars, and how those things do that, a clothing, cloaking device, and we would see that in Star Trek when we were kids watching that. But in truth, what we're really seeing is the use of technology either way. Whether it's sci-fi and really done only in computers, or whether it is really something that exists today, held in high positions to protect us from aliens from the sky, that's probably important. That's probably very good. But what I can say about being stealthed is that people do have the right to be stealthed. For example, a farmer might make millions of dollars, but he might dress like a pauper because he doesn't want to be played with by his neighbors about how much wealth he has. A person who is wealthy might dress really wealthy, but have no money in the bank because they're trying to portray that they're wealthy. And they might like the good stuff that they overheard a girlfriend say one time, and I was sort of offended but sort of understanding. Her implication was that the food type and quality was of an affluent and influential kind of impact in our community because it's not a standard food group for most people. At the same time, it felt almost a little arrogant because it was like, this is too expensive for most people or something like that. But again, I'm only channeling in this moment, and that's not my impression because I do love that woman, and I have a right to say that. What I can tell you is that people who choose to be stealth do so for a lot of reasons. They do it for their own personal safety because there are people who will abuse someone who's stealth. They will also do it for protection of their families because some family members may not be comfortable with their stealthness. And some family members may want to try to make them out loud and proud on something that's not the family member's business. In terms of genitalia, in terms of sexuality, in terms of other topics that we consider stealth, people have the right to remain in the closet. And I hate to say that because the gays today, the lesbians today, the bisexuals today want everybody to be outside in the world today, and I don't even know what a cue is today, but that doesn't matter. I'm not really talking about the topic, but I'm sort of talking about the topic, and what I care about the most with regard to the T in that topic is how marvelously ill-willed it's been utilized, because that letter doesn't stand for anything to do with sexuality. So that's why I've never understood the marketing of the whole thing, because I'm like, well, if we're talking about sexualities, then we should include heterosexuals like me, too, as opposed to just that group, because what that group lettering really lets them do is that everybody can find those people. So if everybody can find those people, on the one hand, it's good for that type of people, but on the other hand, it's bad for that type of people because abusers of those type of people go in and pretend, and then somebody will get harmed in the end. So the challenge that they have with the tea thing is that usually genitalia is stealth. It's not something that we walk into public and let our stuff hang out. And our packages belong to us, so that means our packages are something that we have the right to remain stealth. But there are people, curious people, lots of male people, who think they have the right to look at your package. Now, sometimes our locker rooms in boys and girls high schools produce that, that there aren't individual shower stalls with a door that can lock because of A, the safety of children, and B, the safety of other people. But the reality is we're sort of giving mixed messages. On the one hand, we're saying that the private human body is private, but on the other hand, we're having athletic directors being able to have someone take off their clothes and looking for them for scoliosis. Now, that was an awkward experience for me because I didn't like to take off my clothes. And I'm just of that guy who was raised in a humble household that we didn't really do that unless we were at home in the backyard. And then we might be able to do that. And I can remember doing that when I was traveling with my grandma and grandpa. And it was really, really hot out there. I think we were in Nevada or something like this. And we were traveling with their streamliner and camper. And it was a great time. We got to do a lot of things with animals and whatnot. But I had on a pair of coveralls, and Mom said, it's okay, you can take your T-shirt off. It's really that hot. And that was unusual for us because we grew up with people who were turn-of-the-century parents that taught us the importance of propriety. Now, when we're talking about 
uh, the tea issue. I really am upset by this because my attitude is if a person is totally presenting themselves 100% as a particular gender, then we honor that. No matter what they look like, no matter how ugly they are, no matter how big they are, no matter how large their hands are, no matter how huge their feet are, no matter what. And the one thing that I get upset about some of these actresses and actresses, and I'm like, why do people know that? On the one hand, I get that they are out and loud and proud in the forefront of the community. But the other hand, I'm looking at reality. At some point, that television show is going to end, and at some time, the point, the bodyguard payments are going to finish. And at some point, you're just going to want to be back to your regular self, a human in a community. And you might not want everybody to know who you are. You might not want everybody hitting you up because you're a star. And you might not want everybody interested in not only your package, but also in your pricing, meaning how much money you might have in the bank somewhere, because that puts you at risk. So the reality of stealth is that we're trying to keep not only our own human beings and our own bodies in a focus of propriety, where people don't want to take our pants off without our permission and shave us and harm us like people who do that or ill-willed, ill nature and bastards of Satan. But at the same time, we don't want to be played with by people who just want the curiosity look of us and then are going to harm us. You see, people harm families who have children like that. People insult people who know people like that. And people get abused and killed every day because of stupid shit like that. And God is really raging about that because the human body is something that's supposed to be only the pride of the individual who has it. And that individual has the right to say no to things that some people in America don't think they have the right to say no to. And that individual has the right to fix things if that part of their body is not working for them correctly. You see, sexuality is important, but it's not a part of what's going on with someone's genitalia. And we've kind of proven that throughout history and throughout anthropology of the human nature. So when people try to say that people in those groups are not of God, I differ to say that God knows what he creates in every way.